This field we're looking at is where Dick Winters and about 10 or 11 members of E Company of the 101st Airborne, the Band of Brothers, took out four 105 millimeter guns. Now these guns were positioned to fire on Utah Beach, and if these guns had not been taken out, it could have brought a disastrous end, but the guns were taken out. Second time, the, the battle uh, arrived uh, with Dick Winters, the chief. He arrived here in this village of the Grand Chemin. Uh, Dick uh, put uh, two machine guns here in different angles on this field. The German thing is a frontal attack. In this time, uh, three paratroopers used the torch here uh, behind the, the head, a three other calling uh, the first guns. He arrived by surprise. You have some, some uh, tra traverse the... Run, run or cross, run. Cross, run. Uh, cross the field. He's killed. And after the different paratroopers use the trench for the second uh, guns and three guns he dig uh, dig uh, cool maybe. discover discover a map a special map for the uh, different place of the def German defensive and the four guns is captured by the Rona Spears and with the gun is captured is uh, they blow up like carrot stick and they killed some 55 Germans. I think two survived out of uh, all the Germans that were running these 105s. And um, a key victory in the early hours of D-Day by taking these guns out because when they were gone, men and material could continue to uh, disembark on Utah Beach and make their way inland and eventually help win World War II. Easy company, way to go guys.